Hello world, welcome to the 109th video on my channel where I'm building my own digital assistant named Shane like Jarvis from the Iron Man movies and comics. This is the 10th video in my Shane update playlist and today we're going to step away from the heads up display that we've been creating in previous videos and then we're going to do some face recognition to make sure only I can control Shane and or so Shane can recognize me, whether it's my home automation system or whatever, um, I would like Shane to be able to recognize faces. So this authentication program is going to simply take a picture with my webcam, recognize my face, and determine if it's me or not by comparing it to an already saved image of me. So let's run the code and see what happens. And um, the text that the words in the console down here are just for show for this YouTube, kind of so you can see what's happening. So uh, let's run this program. Okay, so as you can see here, scanning face, face scan complete. That was for you to see what was happening. All it did was take a picture of me. Um, there it is. That's me. And then uh, I wrote analyzing face. But what it's doing is it's locating my face and then comparing it to a picture. And then it says user authenticated. Welcome back, sir. Okay, so uh, probably not that exciting. So this was probably your expectation. But in reality, this is what it looked like. All right, so now let's go through the code. Now, just full disclosure, um, I think it's the way I'm saving um, my picture, but this code only works like one out of 30 times. So for some reason, this uh, code does not like my webcam picture, but it likes any other picture. So if there's any OpenCV experts watching this, um, please give me some advice on how to fix this. So the first thing we're going to need to do is install OpenCV Python numpy, cmake, dlib, and face recognition. All right, do that in these orders. Now, um, once you install cmake, if you get any errors, so for example, you might get a Visual Studio or a Python configuration failure. If you get one of these errors, these two errors, then please watch this video by clicking the card here and I made a video on how to fix these. Um, this video is weeks late because I couldn't figure out how to solve those two issues. And I finally did and I made a video and it's going to be in a new troubleshooting series. Um, so if you get this error, please watch that video. The link will also be in the description. So we're going to import CV2, import face recognition, and then import system. So. Um, the first one is we created a function I call take picture. Now this print, this scanning face is just for you, the, the YouTube audience. Then we're going to cap equals cv2.video capture. When you pass zero, that is your default webcam. If I were to pass a one, that would be the next in line, which would be an external USB webcam. Then we're going to create two variables right in frame equals cap dot read and what this does is it just takes one single frame then you're going to do cv2 dot im so image write the name of the picture and then just pass it the frame so even though i process the video in the next function i think this is where my opencv doesn't work and i'll show you the error i get but it looks like a picture that's a picture of me so it might be something to do with i thought it was the graininess but I've taken a picture with my real webcam and it looks really good and the function still didn't like that. But if I pass it this picture, it's okay. So I don't know. Um, 
Then we're going to destroy all windows. So it opens up a window and destroys it. And then we're going to release the capture. And once you do that, you'll have a picture in your project folder. And then I printed face scan complete. And I do that just for you, right? So that's this take picture function. The next function is called analyzing user. So I print an analyzing face, which isn't really doing anything. And then we're going to store our base image using face underscore recognition dot load underscore image underscore file. And then I just save this one right here. That's me. Then we're going to do pass that same variable into CVT dot color capital C. You're going to pass the original base image and we're going to change the color from BGR to RGB because that's how face recognition use it likes RGB and BGR is the um, CV2 default. Then we're going to do um, do a variable called my face equals face recognition dot face underscore locations. You pass it this base image and you just want the zero with index. Okay. Then you're going to encode it. So what this my face does and I'll show you in a second is it finds your face. And the next one, it encodes it in the zero with thing. And we can draw a rectangle around that too. So let's uh, show you what that looks like real quick. So let me undo this. And what we're going to do is just show what the base image looks like with the rectangle on it. So, um, and to draw the rectangle, you have to first find the locations. Okay, so this should work. Okay, so what it does is it finds this. This is a part of my face. Not my bald head, but just the face. Okay? That's what this face.locations. The encoding, we'll use that later when we, uh, that's what you pass the face recognition, is an encoded version of your face. Okay? So let's uh, encode all of that. Then we're going to do a sample image, which was the picture that the webcam took. And we're going to do something similar. We're going to do the face locations, find the zero width, and then we're going to encode it just like we did here. And then you'll get an index error. Um, or if it goes wrong, which it does all the time when I use a webcam picture, you get an index error. It says it can't find anything in this zero width index. So let's see if I can, um, or I already, uh, by the time you see this, I will have recreated the uh, error. Okay, so it says, oh, it says user authenticated. So it did like that picture. Okay, well, I can't, um, I'm not going to waste time trying to duplicate that error. But if it did not like that uh, picture, or actually I can reproduce that. So I'm going to take a picture and step out of my uh, camera. So, okay, picture. So here we go. So I am taking a blank picture. There we go. So it is a index error out of range, but it failed here. So I should actually put that here. So we can catch that um, error. Okay, so I don't know why it does that, but um, you know, any open CV experts tell me why it doesn't like. So that's what the picture looked like. It could not find a face. So you will get an index error. And then I exit the system, right? Because if somebody was trying to get into my, um, I don't know, system, then I want it to break the system. Okay, I'm not going to show you. This is the code to draw a uh, rectangle around my face. So, and it will find, 
it's pretty good at finding faces. So let's pass this picture of Tony Stark. So this is a valid picture. So there should be no uh, index error. So make sure I have everything else. And then let's look at what the uh, rectangle looks at. And then see if it authenticates. So passing this picture of Tony Stark, it finds his face. And then when I exit out of it, authentication fail, goodbye, and the program ends. Okay. So let me uh, go out of that. So the real face recognition happens here. So we have this base image that we've encoded, right, encodings. We have this sample image, which is this picture. And then we encoded it. So what we're going to do is the result equals face underscore recognition dot compare faces. And then you pass it the two encoded faces. So the encoded my face is the sample, right, the base image. And then we're going to compare it to the picture my webcam tech, which is right here. OK, so we are going to uh, that comes in a list. And it'll say true. And I want to make that a string so I can compare it. So if the result string, right, so this result is true, then it's going to say user authenticated. Welcome back, sir. Um, I can voice activate that if you've been watching all of my Shane update videos. Um, I have voice or text to speech um, capabilities. So it would say welcome back, sir. And then else it would say authentication failed goodbye, which you saw here when I passed Tony Stark's video. So it's a pretty powerful library and it's kind of easy. I made it more difficult because I'm trying to, uh, you know, make it look like it was an AI authenticating my face. So what I would really like to do is um, install this little camera, the version two, the V2 Raspberry Pi camera in some sort of mask that takes a picture of me. And then once it authenticates me, it turns off and opens the forward facing webcam. But that's the future, and it'll be in a future video. So if you want to see that kind of stuff, please subscribe to my video, like this video, and if you're an OpenCV expert, please leave me a comment why taking a picture with my webcam here, I don't look very happy there, doesn't work all the time using face recognition library. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, world.